Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to make over a few items and we're going to start with this um, coffee table. And this belongs to my friend Loretta and she wanted me to redo it and she suggested that I paint it black. So, um, so I, I gave this one coat of black because um, I wanted it to be a really thin coverage. I kind of wanted to see... A little bit of the wood showing through. I didn't see much, but um, but it, I did see a little bit once I used the wax that I'm going to be using on it. So um, I put one coat of this on it, and it was almost full coverage. And then um, let that dry well. And then I now I'm going to apply um, some acrylic, um, polycrylic by Men Wax, but you can use any clear coat that you want. This is a satin finish, uh, but I'm giving this one coat of this polycrylic because um, when I do that wax, when I put that wax on there, I don't want it pulling any of my paint off. So, um, so I'm giving this one coat of the polycrylic and then I'll let that dry well. And then I'm going to be going over it with uh, some white wax because there's a lot of detail in this. And I want that detail to really pop. So the, the white wax is going to do that for me. And then I, I don't know how I didn't get it on film, but, um, but I did some stenciling on the glass on the top because I felt like it needed a little something. Uh, but not much. So I just took two opposite corners and I put uh, a um, one of the the screen stencils from Dixie Bell called Butterflies. And but I didn't use the butterfly part of it. I just used the floral part and um, I put one of those designs in two opposite corners and um, and then. Uh, used uh, what I did I thought about using because a viewer had mentioned that if if I am uh, stenciling on something that I don't want to clear coat the whole thing once I'm done then I can always add um, some clear coat and uh, some top coat in with my paint so I started to do that because I've tried it since she said that and it worked really well but I just decided since I'm going with a white stencil on top that I would just go ahead and use my slick stick and the slick stick really really sticks well to glass so I just felt like it would be a lot more dur durable if I just went ahead and stenciled it with the slick stick and it, and it worked perfectly I'm using a furniture brush here because uh, it's just so much easier to get spindles and all that there's those stencils that I used uh, on opposite corners and I feel like that was just enough to dress this up but I really like how that turned out and she was happy with it so now I have this candlestick and it has some a little bit of um, an indented design the leaf design on it so what I want to do is kind of distract from that so um, first I'm uh, gonna go over this with uh, two coats of um, the color buttercream. Now the first coat, I'm just kind of covering it. Uh, the second coat, I'm going to add um, half baking soda to this and make it a uh, make it a texture, a textured paint. So I did one uh, coat of the texture, but I did it real heavy. I just mixed it really thick. And you can mix it up to half and half to get this really thick coverage. And then I just, when I went over it with that second coat, I dabbed it rather than brushing it on. Because I wanted that really thick, um, really thick texture. So now I'm adding some of my polycrylic to seal this paint in. Uh, because I'm going to be using a black wax on this one. I'm kind of... Uh, Kind of playing with that just to see how that works out but I wanted to clear coat it first because I didn't want a whole lot of the black on it so uh, once I clear coat this and let it dry dry well then I'm just using some black wax and uh, this is actually some black wax that I've had for for quite a while well I haven't had it that long but my friend had it a year or so and she gave it to me because she never used it and it was really hard 
uh, which I think works real well for this because I wasn't putting much on my brush and I think it worked out really really well so I just brushed that on and wiped it off and it's really clinging to that detail and making the detail really stand out and then you can see that there was some raised design before but you can't see what it was and it's uh, it just kind of looks like it's part of the texture now so I was happy with how that turned out and now I'm going to do another candlestick and this is a shorter one and um, I guess it's resin but it looks like it's cast iron um, but it has it's black but it has some tan settled down into the creases so what I want to do is the opposite of what I did on the other one I want the opposite color so or the reverse of that color rather so um, all I'm doing on this one is adding some white wax and letting it go in all that um, all of the detail and replace that tan so then all you'll see is the white in the detail and you'll still see all this uh, black so um, it ended up being a really pretty look and I was real happy with this one even happier than I was with the other candlestick and I really really liked that I didn't have to spend much time on this one at all it was a very very quick flip and I feel like it made a really big difference and then the next item that I'm going to be doing is a wooden bowl that I thrifted. And although I think it's pretty, I've had it for a while and hasn't gotten any interest. So I'm just going to paint it. So uh, I'm going to paint this two coats of the color buttercream. And, um, and then I let that dry. And then I use my sandpaper, which you could actually uh, use a... Um, wet or a damp cloth and distress it that way but this one's going to be really easy to use uh, some sandpaper on and just all these little creases even inside here there's some little raised areas and so I'll be able to distress that and then uh, and and it will um, show that little bit of detail which will really make a big difference in this so like I said, I gave this two coats of the color buttercream and let it dry well. And then I just took uh, some sandpaper and did some heavy uh, distressing in the high spots. And then I'm just going to finish this off with some uh, clear wax. And I could have used, used the polycrylic on this one also, but uh, I just decided to use my clear wax. And then you just brush that on and wipe it off. And then that's all that I'm going to do to this one. I'm going to try to keep it really versatile. And then the next item or items that I'm going to be doing is some uh, little decorative res. I think the resin uh, balls. They may be wood, but I'm thinking they're probably resin. Um, but anyway, uh, they've got all this pretty detail, but they're uh, 90s style decor and... Um, the way we can update these is to paint them and distress them. So they're going to get the same color of white here. And uh, I'm going to give them two coats of this color. And then, um, and these, this is a Dixie Belle color, if I didn't mention that. I have people ask a lot of times, and most of my regular viewers know that I always use Dixie Belle, or most often use Dixie Belle. Uh, but for those of you who don't, I am using a Dixie Belle color here. And like I said, I give this two coats, and then I take some sandpaper and distress them all well, and uh, then let that dry well. And then I'm going to finish these off with a, um, with a clear wax. And then these can just be displayed in a bowl, or uh, in this case, it's just going to be a long wooden bowl bowl that I'm going to um, display them in and then I can add some uh, some hearts in with it uh, to decorate for for um, Valentine's Day because I do very little decorating for Valentine's Day but when I do I want to keep it very versatile I like to keep it neutral and I know a lot of you like the pinks and and reds in with it uh, but me personally I just like the neutrals so 
this works well with my Valentine decor. You could put, uh, I'm going to be putting some white wooden hearts in it, but you could put some wood colored hearts with this white if you didn't have a wood colored bowl, and that would be a real pretty decor. But I've just taken some wooden hearts here and uh, painted them, distressed them, and stamped on them. And then for this last item, I had this little uh, this little faux tobacco basket, uh, and I've had it for quite a while. And but I've seen them painted white a lot, and so I just decided to do a um, a one coat of uh, of the um, buttercream here. And uh, I don't worry about full coverage because I actually want that distressed look. Um, and I, I liked it so much that I added some extra distressing just by by taking some sandpaper and doing a little extra. But like I said, I, it's mostly covered, but I, you do have some of that um, that uh, brown showing through. And I just felt, felt like that gave this a lot better look. And then we'll see how this sells, see if it moves any quicker than, uh, than it did before it was painted. But like I said, I'm seeing a lot of these painted white, and I'm just going to display a little wreath in it. And uh, like I said, just see how that sells. Now, I've had some of you ask uh, for me to show the store again, uh, because I'm doing a lot of changing inside it right now. Uh, getting rid of the Christmas and... Uh, actually doing some painting and and things like that uh, so I'm gonna work on that video I'm gonna uh, s start working on one uh, on a video to show my store uh, but also I'm working on a little studio area in the back so that I can work on my videos while I'm at work without getting interrupted when I have some help and that will um, free up more of my time in the evenings with my family because I feel like I, most evenings I'm editing or voicing over. So I feel like it's going to really help me to have that there at the store. And so when, when I show that video, I'll also show the reveal of that. And it's a slower time in the store right now for us being right after Christmas. So it's, it's a good time for me to start working on those things. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.